this is Dr. Joan Pastor from the Healthy Brain and Body Center of Beverly Hills. I want to talk more about IQ testing for young children. One of the things that parents aren't often told by people who do the testing for very young children is that actually a lot of times those scores might change quite a bit as they get older. Normally, I discourage parents from getting their child tested younger than the age of six. Now, as you're going to see in my next video when I talk about characteristics of gifted people, you're going to see that actually, yep, we can often tell when the child's much younger, like three, four, five years old, if they actually are gifted. But the challenge is, is that the brain is still growing so much that what a child is able to do when they're four or five could be quite different from the time they're in their teens or even an adult. And life circumstances can certainly impact that. There was a very famous test that was done by Walter Michel that we call the marshmallow test. And actually, this test, which was done with young children about the age of four, and what they did was they took these children and they put them in an empty room and there was a table and on the table there was a marshmallow. Now this test started in the 1960s and they followed these children after this test I'm going to tell you about. They followed them to see how they grew up and they matured into adults. But here was the actual test. They put the marshmallow on the table and then they had a researcher who was sitting on one side and the young child, the four-year-old, would come and sit on the other side. Now that child Back in the 1960s, marshmallows are big things. Be kind of like, you know, Reese's peanut butter cups today. And when the child saw the marshmallow, of course, the first thing they wanted was the marshmallow. And a lot of these kids would ask, ooh, can I have that marshmallow? Now, the researcher would just about to answer and then would say, oh, you know what? Hold on. Before we do anything more, I have to run this very important errand. And I'm going to be gone about... 10 to 15 minutes. Now, in that time while I'm gone, if you do not eat the marshmallow, if you do not touch the marshmallow, then when I come back, I will give you two marshmallows. If you do eat the marshmallow while I'm gone, then when, when I come back, you're not going to get a second one. And then the researcher would just get up and just walk out of the room. And they would videotape. They would watch these children, observe them closely to see how did they respond? Now imagine, four years old. Well, let me just say this. The children that were able to delay their gratification, that were able to control their impulses and not eat the marshmallow, they were able to wait until the researcher came back, okay? In following those children, as well as the children who could not contain their impulses and took the marshmallow, when they compared those two groups of children over time, you know what? We found that the marshmallow test was a better predictor of that future child's IQ, their intelligence, than if we actually gave them an intelligence test at the same age. So, if you really want to find out more about your child's intelligence, go ahead and see how they handle marshmallows. Or, as it might be today, Snickers. <laughs> this has been Dr. Joan Pastor from the Healthy Brain and Body Center, Beverly Hills. Please give us a call at 310-892-0210 or visit our website for all your testing needs. Thank you.